In this video, we will work out probability examples for events that are not mutually exclusive, which means that these types of some outcomes that are common. To perform these calculations, we apply addition rule number two, which states the following. If events are, are non-mutually exclusive, then the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. We have to subtract out the overlap to avoid double counting. Let's look at an example. So the first example says a card is selected from a standard deck. What is the chance that it is a jack or a heart. These events are not mutually exclusive because they do have one card in common, the Jack of Hearts. So when calculating this probability, there are four Jacks out of 52 cards, plus there are 13 hearts out of 52 cards. However, we have to be very careful because if we count the four jacks and the 13 hearts, we might overcount the jack of hearts. So we have to make sure that that is subtracted out. So there's one jack of hearts out of 52. Performing the computations, we get 16 out of 52, which reduces to four out of 13. In the second example, we also have an, uh, an example here of, mute, of events that are not mutually exclusive. The problem states that people were queried about their favorite hobby to relax. The results were placed in the contingency table below. If a person is selected at random, what is the chance that the person enjoys watching streaming content or is a female? So we have to add up all the people who enjoy watching stream, streaming content and we have to add up all the females. So let's do that. So the people that enjoy watching uh, streaming content is 15 out of 60 plus the females are 29 out of 60 but we have to be very careful because we don't want to overcount the eight females who enjoy watching streaming content so minus 8 out of 60 and then we perform the computations so 15 plus 29 minus 8 is 36 out of 60 and then we can reduce 36 out of 60 and that's going to leave us with 3 fifths as an answer. Thanks for watching the video.